Today on Game & Watch with Michael B, we will be playing one of the most terrifying and bizarre games on the NES, Samurai Zombie Nation. So today guys, we're going to be taking a look at Samurai Zombie Nation. This is one of the rarest and most expensive games on the system. It's also one of the most bizarre. Like, there's a lot of games that, you know, come out of Japan and you're like, how'd they make it? But this has got to be on the top. It's one of the most unique games. You play as a floating head of a deceased samurai that basically goes through these towns in a shoot 'em up type style and basically destroys everything. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's completely bizarre and unique. But... It's also a really fun game. Hard, but fun. So what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to play it for a little bit and give you guys a feel for the game. I'd like to tell you there's a challenge to this, but getting past the first stage sometimes can be a challenge. It's really an interesting play mechanic, and you really don't know when you're taking damage. Sometimes you're taking damage, and next thing you know, you're dead, and you didn't realize it. Anyways, guys, here it is. Alright, let's get started. Samurai Zombie Nation. One easy. Uh, I think we'll stick to round one. I'm pretty good at round one. Well, good's a relative term. I'm okay at round one. And it's on the head. I don't know what the best way to explain this game is. It's like a terrifying version of Rampage. Oh man. There's so much happening all at the same time that it's hard to keep track. I mean, you're spitting out something that's going on the ground, you're shooting projectiles, and you like shmups and weird stuff. This might be the game for you. That guy. I'm not sure if he restores power or not, or if he just basically powers up, powers up your attack. Oh man, oh man. It's nuts. Oh. Yeah, can you imagine if they made this game without a life bar? It's just like, yeah, one hit, you're dead. Just like every other schmuck. Game over, man. I don't think I'll be able to make it. Oh. Well, I still have all my energy. Moving along, all the buildings. I'm sure nobody can kill me. Good, good. Things are going well. The zany game, though. Like, you see some of the games that never made it to North American shores. You really gotta stop and ask yourself, how'd this one do it? Take that, Zeppelin. The dead Zeppelin. Ha! 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 Alright, on the stage two. Uh, first couple times I played this, like, I kept running into these things up here. And they absolutely destroy your health pretty quickly. So the trick is to avoid those at all costs. Oh. Yeah, bam. Oh my. Alright, I'm up to level 3. That's a good thing. Ah. 
it's definitely the kind of game that you're not going to get right away. You're going to have to play a couple times so you understand it. Or read the instruction manual. I guess that'd be a, also a good idea. A lot of people just go into this game headlong and then they're like, Oh my god, why am I losing health? Why can't I do anything? Yeah, that's because you don't know how to play. Yeah. So we're just going to wait for that to go away. No need to rush. Absolutely bizarre game. Oh, oh. Rush past that. Alright, I still have my health. Good, good. bad run through in this level. I'm impressed. I didn't know if I'd be able to do it. Getting a lot of flicker. Hope the capture works out well. I apologize, guys. Sometimes, uh, I know my capture isn't perfect. Uh, things skip out, but it's the way I do my capture. I actually play on my TV, and I had to split the AV signal. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's the Statue of Liberty. The thing that confuses me about this, my health bar goes when this happens, and I have no idea what's happening. Oh! Yeah! Boom! Down! It's like a weird Medusa Statue of Liberty. Odd, odd boss. And here's where the game gets insanely hurt. Now the dice out. Yeah, that's fine, you know. Bring in you know, elements like that. The sky opening up and destroying everything. Like I was already dying or anything, don't worry about it. Odd game, but still pretty awesome. Lightning kind of forces you to go out in front of where you need. Oh my! And I'm dead. First death. That was right at the end too. Yes, we'll continue. Ample continues. That's a good thing. Now I'm completely powered down, which now makes this suck so much. And on so many different levels. Oh my! <laughs> that didn't take long. Jeez, I don't even know what I hit there. Let's try this again. This is the kind of game you absolutely positively need to keep your power ups. Like, basically, you have to do a no. Now, I'm not an expert, I've never finished it, but it's almost like the force that you gotta do a no death run to get past this. Fairly well this time. Yeah, makes a headway. Powered up though. That lightning effect is very cool though. Oh. Power up yet? Come on. Oh, this is much better. Ah. 
That's right. Stay away from Oprah. Anybody else notice the head in this game looks like Trevor from Grand Theft Auto V? Well, if he was a samurai. Let's say he's not a samurai. Alright. That's a long well. Feel like a champ. I've made it to the boss of the stage before, I think. I'm not 100% sure though. That one's close. Oh, you cannot go into the sky. There it is. That's why I was getting killed before. <sighs> so as long as I stay out of the sky, I should be in better shape. You know, for a floating head, you do have good maneuverability in this game. Alright, full health. Almost halfway through. Away from the sky, Mike. That's all you gotta do. Do that, can't you? Now you have a power up. You're going to beat this level. Whatever, Zeppelin. Talk of this. Stay up there. I'll just be down here. Like the power ups. And stay out of the sky. Zen is terrifying. Oh my god, there's a Zen on me. Get out of here. Let's stay out of the lightning. Alright! It's not to the boss. Oh well. Can't complain. We're gonna continue from this point, I do believe, so we'll get to see the second boss at least. And this very cool stage. Reminds me of Contra in the Waterfall stage. Oh yeah. Because that's what this game needed. It needed boulders that you can't predict. Oh yeah. And there it is. Alright. Please let me restart from the half. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. But now I've lost all my power ups. It's okay, I'll be back. Oh, that's cool, actually. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but the waterfall actually drags the head down. Actually, really cool. Watch, I'll see if I can show you guys. Whoa! See? That's awesome! Yeah, I do it more than else. Really should have turned off that phone, shouldn't I? 
I love you, Mrs. B, but I'm playing a game right now on public access TV. Well, you too. I'm too intense in my game to stop to pick up the phone. I'm sorry, I'll call you back as soon as I beat this level. Well, looks like I'm going to need a miracle. I'll be calling my way back earlier than I originally anticipated. Yeah, <laughs> she is eager to talk, talk to me. Alright, this is going to be the lucky one. I can feel it in my bones. Maybe not. I've already lost some health. Those things. And you know what the trick is to avoid those things? There is no trick. Oh my god, it's a. Oh yeah. Do not stay still, I guess. That's about as far as I'm going to get. Well, what can I say? That's not too bad. At least I got to show you guys one of the boss stages, and I got pretty far through the second stage. I'm not really that good at this game. I've played it, I've played it a little bit, and I'm okay, but, you know, I'm not great. Anyways, guys, that's Samurai Zombie Nation. A very, very fun game, but very, very hard, very challenging. It's very inexpensive, so a lot of people want it, but understand what you're getting before you buy it. it might not be for everybody.